What are you doing? Hey, I'm just giving a voice to those feet. All right, because those dogs are barking. <laughs> $400 poochies for 50 size doesn't matter. <laughs> I know. I see your fiance. <laughs> hey, yo, Ken, Walt is killing. Uh, Ace, please do not bother me with your barbershop antics, okay? I am reading. <laughs> oh, yeah. How do you like your green eggs and ham? <laughs> Look here, Candy. I'm reading Jack Sherwood's autobiography. Okay, I'm on chapter four. All the women I've known and blown. Hey, guys, listen, when my dad gets here, tell him I went home sick. I've got the flu. Oh, damn, I've used that before. Uh, I got the Ebola. Why? <laughs> 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 What's up? Well, he strapped me to his annual golf thingy, and I don't wear plaid unless I'm playing Naughty Bagpiper. <laughs> Come on, Tiff, you can't pass on the opportunity to hit the links with your pops. <laughs> Look, I quote right here. <clears throat> Most of my million dollar deals have been made on the golf course. Nothing relaxes a man like sinking a couple of balls in a hole on a sunny afternoon. <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got some powerful thoughts myself. Maybe I should write an autobiography. Yeah, Ace, I know what you should call it, too. A tale of two buffets. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, little man. <laughs> you need to hit open mic night at the rib tickler. Stand up might be your ticket out the ghetto. <laughs> Four! Uh, hi, Daddy. Love the pants. I knew you would. For me? Oh, goody. Um, but, but I don't think I can go today. I'm swamped what? here. But, uh, but uh, I have an idea. Why don't you take Kevin with you? He would uh, love it. Uh, me? On a fairway with, with, with Jack Sherwood? Oh, yeah, don't worry. You can get the pants shortened. <laughs> Princess, I was really hoping that we could spend some time together, you know. Team Sherwood. Oh, I get it. That club is white bread only, huh? No pumpernickel allowed. Bergen Pines hasn't been segregated since 1993. You're not Jewish, are you? Boy, they. So how'd it go? They got room for you to open mic tonight? Oh, yeah. I will be rocking at the Rip Tickler. Uh, hey! Hey! You'll be there. Oh, I don't think you're going to make it if you put those tight shoes back on. Oh, it's not so bad. The tingling's gone. By tonight, they'll be completely numb. OK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kevin, I'll tell you, being out on the links with you today was like playing with the sun I never had. Or the sun I never claimed. <laughs> Sounds like you two had fun. Well, you know, like Jack says in page 73 of his book, fun is the milk in the breast of success. <laughs> it's time for you to drop that whole mild-mannered corporate mogul identity and assume your powers as a super stylist. All right, Kevin, want me to a chair? It's styling time. <laughs> hey! What, 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 what? Daddy? You said you'd never style hair again after the Felicity debacle of 98. Hey, I thought her ratings would go up. <laughs> oh, but with Kevin quoting from my book all day long, it reminded me that I have got a gift, and it would be selfish of me not to share it. Kevin, my scissors. Kevin, right up. <sighs> oh, my arm is complete again. <laughs> Just like I said, Jackie. Oh, I, I call him Jackie now. <laughs> it's, it's what we do! <laughs> uh, who's next? Hey, man. How much you think Kev's paying rent? Living in Jack's colon. <laughs> huh. Kevin and my dad. Huh. Sorry I'm late, y'all. Jack and I hit up the karaoke bar. Man, that man can sing. My dad does not sing. 
<laughs> Please, woman, you better ask somebody. Because <laughs> I was shown like, woo, woo, woo. and he was like, <laughs> um, Glenn Livett's on the rocks, please. Well, Scotch, since when did you start drinking something that doesn't end in 45? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I still get down with the 45. <laughs> but now it's about the year. <laughs> clink, clink. <laughs> What's up with your man crush on my dad? Uh, sorry, ain't nobody crushing on your pops, Tiff, OK? I just find him to be informative and education. Thank you. <laughs> you know that's a $50 drink. <laughs> Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Open Mic Night at the Rip Tickler. I'm Bruce MC. Yeah. And now, hold on to your side and to your wallet and give it up for the drive-by comedy styles of my man, Walt Powell. And I want y'all to meet two very special people. Candy, Ace, stand up. Oh, no! <laughs> I know y'all are taking two things, right? Nothing named Candy is safe around that guy. <laughs> right? And her feet are so big, her shoes come with a WNBA contract. <laughs> oh, don't be so sensitive. They're just jokes. <laughs> hey, let me tell you about one of my bosses, Tiffany Sherwood. There she is. Hey, baby, how you doing? <laughs> I'm not saying she's a freak, all right? But if you ask her to take her top off, Tiffany sure would. Uh, <laughs> <that's not true. laughs> oh, don't be so sensitive. They're just jokes. <laughs> and one of my other bosses, Kevin Cat, what's up, him? Huh? huh? He's all about education. You know what I'm saying? He's got degrees from BCC, ITT. Yeah. Hell, I even think he got one from KFC. <laughs> Yo, Ace, let me see that comb, man. Huh. Ace, that was my comb. Oh, uh, sorry? <laughs> Candy. Candy, come on, what, y'all are still tripping because I clowned you at the club? All right, it's no different than what I do here? Hell yeah, it's different. It was 60 strangers laughing and throwing ribs at me, chanting, don't feed Bigfoot, don't feed Bigfoot. <laughs> Damn, Jack. I said, you got the pimp hand. <laughs> and it is way strong. You know what? Do you think it's time that I need to diversify, OK, and learn how to cut the ladies? Well, women are 70% of our customers, but 95% of our profits. And as I say in chapter 7 of my book, limit yourself in business, limit yourself in life. Oh, that goes for the bedroom as well as the boardroom. <laughs> 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 No, Kevin, just the boardroom. Now focus, pay attention, and assume the position. <laughs> okay, who's next? Ew. Daddy and Kevin again. Ew. <laughs> Candy. Oh, oh, my feet, my feet, girl. Oh, I felt that in my eye. <laughs> Sorry. What's up with my dad and Kevin? Hey, you pushed your dad to hang out with Kevin. Even though he has a great relationship with his own dad, he does have a lot in common with Jack, too, Tiffany. OK. Mm -hmm. Who's being a paranoid <laughs> schizo lunatic? Self-diagnosed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I have tons in common with my dad, too. Well, of course you do, sweetie. Daddy, let's go to Geisha tonight. It's been a while since we shared a bowl of edamame. Oh, well, hey, Princess, I'd love to. <laughs> but I'm taking Kevin out to celebrate his enrollment into Speedy Cuts Training School. He's going to learn to do women's hair. I am so proud of you, Kevin. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Jackie Jack. It's Kevy Kev oh. now, <laughs> all right? We family. Ooh. Isn't that right, Tiffy Tiff? <laughs> Well, Tip, do you want to tag along with me and Kevy Kev tonight? Oh, maybe some other time, Daddy Dad. <laughs> Jackie Jack, I think Tiffy Tiff's getting it. I do, I do. <laughs> <laughs> wow, 
I thought I had a lot in common with my dad, but I guess he has a lot more in common with Kevin. Oh, Tiff, I'm sure it'll be fine. I right, Jack, say holla. Holla. Welcome to Speedy Cut's stylist school, or as I like to call it, my own personal hell. I'm your instructor, Sam Combs. Now, who are you, and what brings you hair? <laughs> they make me say that. Oh, uh, excuse me, everybody. My name is Kevin Barnes, superstar barber. <laughs> you know, Pete Diddy, Will Smith did all that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, now I'm here to become a superstar stylist. You know, no limits in business, mm. no limits in life. <laughs> Can I get an amen? <laughs> well, good luck with that. <laughs> You know, there's a prejudice against us straight men in this industry. Oh, once in a while, they'll let a Jack Sherwood through the cracks. But we have to be careful. The gay hair mafia is everywhere, sweetie. <laughs> don't, don't look at me. <laughs> I just did me a girl on the way over here. <laughs> uh, Something like the class, the Lion Expresso bar was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm learning how to style hair like my father. Hair's in my blood. I mean, not literally, of course, because that would kill me. <laughs> What's wrong? You a little threatened? By you? <laughs> hey! <laughs> no. Threatened says what? What? Uh-huh. Damn! <laughs> See, my hair, where no, my you don't know what Daddy! Hi! That's Hi. Princess. I was expecting to see you here. You know, this isn't traffic school, right? <laughs> you! You're him! The Jack Sherwood, yay! <laughs> and this is your daughter. Incredibly gifted, she passed with flying colors. Oh, no, 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 Daddy. I want to take the entire class. I mean, I want to have a passion for hair. Finally. I think I feel a tear welling up in my eye. <laughs> uh, if you don't mind, I just stopped by to give a little pep talk to the class. I have some very special people here. Aww. Aww. Welcome, everyone. I founded the school uh, oh, about 25 years ago with money I won playing poker with Larry Hagman, Charo, and Gary Coltman's legal guardian. <laughs> now, I want you to learn all that you can while you're here so you can go out into the world, grab it by the hair, pull it tight to your chest, touch it, feel it, tickle it, sniff it, and then have your way with it. I'm Jack Sherwood. Make me proud. <laughs> so look, take it back to the hotel, you know, for a little um, pillow fight. You know what I mean? Oh my God. <laughs> okay, go ahead. All right. So I wake up mm -hmm. butt naked, right? And she's gone. But well, so's all my body. No! <laughs> uh-huh. I get it. So y'all are doing a silent treatment thing, huh? Oh, oh, yes, we are. Oh, I mean, yeah. I, damn it. Because <laughs> you're nothing but a bully picking on people. Oh, yeah? It's easy and it's cheap. Hey, 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 you're the only ones that think that, OK? Because out there, out there, they're loving me. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, OK. So jokes are all that are important to you, huh? Just like at the foster home, you would always make fun of the other kids to make yourself feel better. Well, let's see how you feel when you don't have any friends left, Walt. <laughs> And Candy, why you gotta go all deep bringing up the home? Huh. Hey, man, you're a comedian. Comedians draw from pain. Mm. Like Richard Pryor burning himself up. <laughs> or Chris Rock, that hand looked like a rat claw. That... <laughs> I'm not trying to talk about all that stuff in front of strangers. Well, people like stories of things that they can relate to. Like the time when you were 11 and you got those hand-me-down parachute pants that was so big the wind blew you into that bus. <laughs> Candy, I was unconscious for six hours. Yeah, the concussion went away, but I'm still laughing. <laughs> Time, put down your curling irons. <laughs> Done. So, what do you have? I, I got something. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Feast your eyes upon perfection. <laughs> All right? <laughs> something, something I like to call the midnight trade winds. <laughs> trade winds, huh? 
Is that because it blows? <laughs> <laughs> the Sherwood's right, Kevin. We at Speedy Cuts answer to a higher standard. The Sherwood standard. Hmm? Oh, thank you, Sam. Mm -hmm. Presenting what I call the tip. <gasps> Fierce! <laughs> That's a ponytail, Steven Seagal. I mean, you just Jack and Tiff because that's Jack's daughter. Listen, mister, I judge on talent and talent alone, and Tiffany has it, and you don't. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, do you believe in Tiffany's talent enough to let her do something with your ponytail? Sure he does. Right, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. I look like the bride of Chucky. <laughs> Tiff, you're being too hard on yourself. I mean, you saw my glamorous superstar barber life and you got jealous. Jealous of you? Kevin, come on. Well, then, then I'm confused because if it ain't about me, <laughs> then who could it possibly be about? I've never had to share my dad before. I mean, I've always been the most important person in his life. Until now. Are you crazy? So that's what all this hating has been about. You're competing with me for your dad's attention? <laughs> oh, come on, Timmy. <laughs> that's not funny, Kevin. I mean, except for his five wives, it's always just been the two of us. <laughs> Going skiing and scuba diving and hiding his money in Switzerland. <laughs> oh, come on, Tiff. Jack and I are just hanging out, you know, like boys. You know, I'm just trying to acquire a little knowledge in some supermodel overflow, <laughs> you know? Go ahead, this is just all a big joke to you. Uh, no. <laughs> hey, Kevin Kev. Got your message, man. You're canceling on me, baby? Come on, I got reservations at the club. We can still make it. Let's roll. Ah, uh, Jack, no thanks. But maybe you should oh, take okay, it. Okay, stop right there. I, look what I didn't tell you is I got a couple of brand new sports cars sitting over there for us to test drive. You want the Ferrari or the Lamborghini? <laughs> Hell with it. You take the Lamborghini. Oh, Kev, Tiff's in our office hurting. Give back the keys. <laughs> Damn or tears, Kev, okay? It's a Lamborghini, baby. We fixed to come up. <laughs> Kevy, Kev, Kev. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Jack. I, I can't. I, I just... Uh, okay, look, I wasn't gonna tell you, but Alicia Keys is doing a private set at the club. You like her, right? Alicia Keys, man! <laughs> ah, he's right. Miss Keys has a whole lot of ass now. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, Jack, come on, come on, man. Kevin. <laughs> Jack, talk to your daughter. Hey, Daddy. Oh, hey, Princess. What's going on? Did he touch you? <laughs> no, no, come on, Jack. Now what we got to go there, man? This ain't 1955. <laughs> Tiffany, tell him what you told me. I dropped out of stylist school. I have a passion for hair. Well, then why'd you take the class? Because I wanted us to be closer like you and Kevin. I was afraid I was losing you. Oh, Princess, come here. Come here. You could never lose me. What we have it goes so much deeper than cutting hair, and nothing could ever, ever mean more to me than being your father. <laughs> oh. the food here at the Rib Tickler. Uh, nice and fresh. Not like the food I had growing up in the foster home. When we had any. Uh, Candy, I don't know what advice you gave Walt, but it's, um, less funny, ha-ha, and more funny, bang-bang. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy, man. We were so broke. My foster mom used to buy discount candy canes the day after Christmas and save them for an entire year. 
I was like 22 before I realized candy canes aren't supposed to be that soft. <laughs> <laughs> I hated that story Andy, though, man. You know, had me believing that some rich man was gonna come and adopt me. Only dude that ever wanted to take me home yelled from across the street, hey, boy, I'll give you some candy if you get in the van. <laughs> Love you too, Netta.